guys, it's Jess from Makeup by Jessie G and today I want to share with you my December favourites. I have so many favourites for the month of December, things that I had only just started using at the end of, this, um, end of November and yeah, I wanted to share with you this month and heaps of products that I got um, before like holiday specials or things like that and some that I got for Christmas as well and I'm really really excited to share with them with you and I really hope you enjoy so without further ado let's get into it. I thought we'd start off with skincare. One of the brands that I did discover this month is the brand Drunk Elephant. They are more pricey, they're definitely definitely more pricey but my skin absolutely loves their products and I find you don't need much of them so even though it is more expensive it will last you quite a long time. So the first thing I tried from them is this Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whipped Cream. It's a really really great moisturiser. It is quite intense but I really like it because I only need a little bit because my skin is so oily. But also it's not greasy, it's just like really hydrating. So you can get this if you have dry skin and just find that it really hydrates your skin and it's not, it's not going to give you any acne if that is something that you do have a problem with. But if you have oily skin like me as well, what you can do is easily just use a little bit and spread it over your entire face and because again, it does have oils in it but it isn't greasy or oily which is kind of hard to imagine but it is really really good and it doesn't give me any acne and it just hydrates my skin and makes my skin so soft and because I only have to use such a tiny amount of it it is going to last me so so long. It is $88 at Mecca but um, you can go in and ask for a sample that's what I did and I found the sample lasted me over a week which was incredible but yeah I did pick up the full size version because I loved it so much and I just fell absolutely in love with it and I definitely 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 recommend it. The next skincare product I recommend is this Drunk Elephant Day Serum. This is the C Firma one. This, um, this day serum, it has vitamin C in it, so it is really, really great for um, helping with um, your like sun damage and things like that. And it's also really, really, really great at just firming and brightening the skin. So I really, really like this because it does kind of brighten my skin up. It kind of gives it a more, um, it, it helps um, with the uneven skin tone that my skin does sometimes have. It is again quite oily but somehow it doesn't clog up all my pores and give me breakouts which I really really love. Especially in a really hot climate like Australia it's really important to have a, um, C, a vitamin C serum because it is really really going to help with um, sun damage. It can, can help prevent um, getting like wrinkles from sun damage and those kind of things, fine lines. It's not going to completely reverse everything, obviously, but it will help. And you'll like I have definitely seen some improvement in my skin since starting using this. This is I forget how much this one was. It was over the hundred dollar mark, I think. So again, quite expensive. But this, the Drunk Elephant brand, is a little bit different because its packaging is completely airtight. Its pump is up here, and again, it's completely airtight. So it lasts for 24 months rather than most um, vitamin C serums might last for about 6 months. So I'm not going to go through this in 6 months, no way. So it is going to last me a really long time so it's definitely something to, that I highly recommend. My next skincare favourite is this Bioderma. This is the Micellar Water. I don't see this many, that many people talking about this one. This mis Micellar Water is, um, it's really really great for, it says purifying, cleansing, micellar water. So I find this one really really good for my acne um, and my oily skin. It's a little bit more, yeah, it, it kind of strips my face of more of those oils which I like when, when I'm doing a cleanse because I do put so many oils back into my skin in my skincare. If I wasn't doing that, not that I put like straight oils on my skin, but if I do with my skin, like with my moisturizer and the um, serums that I use, it does put more um, oils back into my skin. So I like that this does kind of clean my skin of absolutely all the oils which I really really love. Well not all the oils but a lot of the oils which I really really love. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. This is a 15 hour wear foundation. I have the shade 1.15 so this is my shade when I'm fake tanned. I don't know if they do one for when I am not fake tanned but I have been fake tanning recently so that doesn't really bother me at the moment. This foundation claims that it is hydrating and it's really like, you know, it's a hydrating foundation. So 
I wouldn't have normally picked it, but I had seen a couple of other YouTubers with oily skin talking about it and saying they loved it, so I thought I'd go and pick it up. And I absolutely love this foundation. It just stays on my skin so, so well, and it just it stays like, by the end of the day, it pretty much looks the exact same as when I put it on. Like it's a really, really like long, long wearing foundation, which I absolutely love. And it just looks so flawless, but it's not super full coverage at the same time, so it doesn't look cakey. It just looks flawless on the skin, and I absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend checking that out if you are interested or in the market to get a new foundation. I just think it's really, really, really a great product. The next product that I picked up this month is this Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Now, I know absolutely everybody has talked about this product. Um, it is a cult favorite, but I had never tried it. And I finally took the plunge and picked it up because I normally use a Rimmel, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and it's so much cheaper and I just finally took the plunge to get this and I absolutely love it. I definitely think it helps keep the oil at bay much, much longer, which I absolutely love. And it really, it just makes my skin look really nice because a lot of trouble that I have with um, loose powders is that when I put it on top of my foundation, it can sometimes look a little bit patchy or make me look kind of a bit, a bit washed out. So this doesn't do that, which I absolutely love. So yeah, I think it's a cult favorite for a reason and I would definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't, but so many people have tried this now. But I just think it's a really great product. My next favorite for the month of December is this Inglot palette here. This is their Freedom System. So what you do to open it, it's like a magnetic cover that slides off here and then it can clip onto the back. The Freedom System works by you can choose a palette size. I have all the 10 palette, so you can put 10 different shadows in this one. And you choose your own colors. So they are, I think they're $12 each for the single eyeshadows. And I can't remember, you can also get like a little, um, like the same size, but then they've got three shadows in each, which are a little bit more expensive, but then you get three shadows. Um, so I absolutely love this. I'm wearing it on my eyes at the moment and I've pretty much been wearing it every single day since I got it. I did get it for Christmas, so I haven't been using it that long. But I have been absolutely hanging out to use this. I knew I was getting it as a present because I did choose the colours. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I really love that you can choose the colours yourself because I have chosen ones that I absolutely love and I know I will get a lot of use out of. And that's why I have been using it so much. So it's really fun because I get to choose the colours myself. And it's really great because I can just take this with me. I know I can create so many looks using this. I can create really dark looks or really natural looks. Everything that I want, I can create in this palette. And it's just the shades I like and it's everything that I like in this palette. So I would definitely recommend checking out the Inglot of Freedom System because the shadows are really, really, really great quality. I don't get any fallout from them. They're really highly pigmented. They're so easy to blend. I mean, they're really, really great quality and you can create your own palette. So if you're somebody who's traveling a lot or you know maybe wanting to get into becoming a makeup artist, these are definitely a great option when you can create your own colors and choose what you want and what you need. So I definitely, definitely recommend these. My next favorite for this month is another Inglot um, product. This is the Inglot um, what is this called? The Inglot Eyeliner, AMC Eyeliner. This is the just the black one, which is in shade number 77. I absolutely love this eyeliner. It glides on so smoothly, smoothly. It is super, super pigmented and black. And the only negative I can say about it, if you are, like, your, your eyeliner is prone to transferring up on your eyes, then this may not work for you because it does have a little bit of transfer but for me I don't get that issue so I really love it because it just stays put pretty much on my eyes and I don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding about and it's so so pigmented and so so easy to apply it just glides on and it's so beautiful and I absolutely love it so if you and it's pretty affordable I think this was $28 so it's not too bad it's definitely more on the high-end side but it's not super, super expensive. So if you are in the market for another, like a good gel eyeliner, I would highly, highly recommend picking this one up. It is definitely, definitely worth the money and I love it at the moment. I cannot put it down. It's brushed on adhesive with vitamins and this one doesn't have any latex in it because I do have a mild latex allergy and whilst it's not 
super bad or anything. If I've got lashes on for the whole day, my eyes do puff up a bit, so I don't like using lash glues with latex in them. So this one's really great. I also really like the um, the House of Lashes one, but I find that the House of Lashes one really sticks everything down. And whilst it's not going to budge the whole day, if you're wearing lashes all the time, or even like even if you're just wearing them once, I still find that I have to pick out the lash glue and it's just not fun and I feel like it rips out my natural lashes so when I'm wearing lashes now I will only use this glue because I want to make sure that my natural lashes are still there and that I'm taking care of them so I do not I do not like to use the house of lashes one anymore I only stick to this one just because it still sticks the lashes down but it's nowhere near as harsh when I am coming to take them off and it doesn't have latex in it so it's not going to irritate my eyes so if you do have a latex allergy or a, you're wanting to find a good glue that's not going to be too harsh on your natural lashes, then I would definitely recommend pick, trying this one. Again, you can get it from an Inglot store, so that's where I got mine. It wasn't too expensive, so I think it was about $12, but I mean, eyelash glue will last you ages. So I definitely recommend picking up this one if you are in the market for a new glue. I think it's a really, really great option. They also have um, the duo glue with latex in it as well. I prefer the brush on applicator you can get just like a squeezy tube one as well but just my preference the brush on so yeah I think it's a great glue my next favorite for the month of December is the Huda Beauty lashes these are the Noel lashes they're the number 14 I am wearing these at the moment I really like them they're nice and full and dramatic which is the kind of lashes I like to go for when I do wear false lashes and they're just really easy to apply and they've got a thick band so they are going to last quite a long time which I like. They're really soft, they're faux mink so they're not actual mink but which I like because then it's faux, it's not actual, actually hurting any animals or anything like that. It is just a really really soft lash and it's really really high, high quality, a really great lash. I get mine from Cult Beauty not Sephora because Cult Beauty you can get them for a fair bit cheaper so I definitely recommend trying out some Huda Beauty lashes if you haven't already. I think they're really, really great quality and I really like them and they come in really cool packaging. <laughs> and another Huda Beauty product that I have been loving this month is the Huda Beauty Liquid Mattes. These, I've got three of these. I've got the shade Trendsetter, Gossip Girl and Bombshell, which are these three here. I've got Gossip Girl on my lips today so that's more of like the pinky that was the more out there color I really really love these when I first started trying them I wasn't too sure I found that um, they would wear off really quickly and they wouldn't layer really well but as I started using them more I found that what I was doing I was applying too much of them so what I do now when I apply them I pull them out of the tube they're just like a doe foot applicator I pull it out and I'll show you here I just scrape off all the excess on the tube before I apply it and you really only need one swipe that is it just one swipe to get all the pigment there is no like there's no patchiness nothing like that so I definitely definitely love these I also like to pair them up with the um, lip liners that they have I find they're really really good quality as well so I absolutely love 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 these I think they're really really beautiful really comfortable they they don't transfer but they also somehow they've got I know they've got oils in them and they don't completely dry down at the same time so I'm not too sure how they don't transfer but they are really beautiful and they don't like they don't completely like suck out all the moisture in your lips you can still like it's just really really comfortable and you can um, once it does wear off a little bit after eating or something you can layer it up again just to get you know that more pigment and it's still gonna be super super comfortable that's what I did today I've gone out for lunch I've eaten I've had lots to eat now and it's still super comfortable and it layers beautifully and it's just yeah a beautiful 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 formula the next favorite are these Milani Amour matte lips I have two of these I have the shade 11 precious and 12 loved I absolutely love these at the moment these like they they're just really pigmented they go on really well they are quite drying but I don't have naturally dry lips anyway so that's not too much of a problem but they're really really pigmented they're really cheap they have a great scent like it smells like vanilla-y it's really nice 
kind of reminds me of the Jouer scent, that vanilla-y kind of smell, so I absolutely love them. I think the colours are absolutely stunning, as I said, super pigmented, they glide on really, really nicely. So, for the price, I think these are absolutely stunning, and I definitely want to pick up some more. I get mine from Beauty Bay, so if you are in Australia, that's where you can pick up some Milani products, and I would definitely recommend picking up these. My last product isn't actually a makeup product, it is a hair product. This is the GHD Arctic Gold Curve Gift Set. This one is a curling wand, and I'll just show you here. It comes in this little bag. It was a holiday set, so um, it they do sell the um, creative. It's a creative curl wand, I think. It, what is what it's called? They do sell it um, normally, just in it's in different coloured packaging, I think. And this one's like their holiday set. But this is what the curling wand looks like here. It's like it's got a tapered end. If you can see, it's got a tapered end, and it's also like thicker on this way and then shorter on this way. I have absolutely been loving this. It's what I use to curl my hair today, although that was out as a grocer. So it's probably not as nice now. I have absolutely been loving this. As I said, it's really, really quick and easy to use. Heats up really quickly. It provides, you can get like heaps and heaps of different styles out of it because it is a curling wand and it's tapered. I can get like beachy kind of like beachy kind of waves out of it and like you know those not as like curled curls something a little bit more relaxed looking or I can get something really really curled out of it and really beautiful it's really quick and easy to use it heats up really 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 quickly and it's just really nice and I only just got this recently I bought this in the Boxing Day sales but I thought I would mention it too because I have been using it non non stop I um, and I thought I would mention it too because you you might still be able to get this in the sales. I bought mine from Mecca, but you can get them from the GHD website. So it is a lot cheaper just to get it in this packaging, which is really, really cute. And it's not actually Christmassy, it's just white and gold. So that's like their Christmas colors, but it's not like it has a Christmas pattern or something on it. So I have really been loving this and I think it was really great value. I got it for, I think, a hundred and... 60 from Mecca, their, their sales, so yeah, I absolutely love it and I would definitely recommend it, so even though I haven't been using it for very long, I just thought I'd recommend it to you so you guys could get it as well during the sales because yeah, it's just so so great and I love it. Thank you so so much for watching my December favourites, I really really hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do upload weekly so I will see you next week, bye!